Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and a uh, short video today. Um, I uh, had delivered today this fruit here. Now, this is actually very hard to find in the UK. These um, rarely ever come up, and I actually ordered it online. Um, this is an actual custard apple, um, which I think is a Nona reticulata. Um, may have other names in other countries and this one is very simple to buy here these are commonly grown in Spain and this is a cherimoya which is a known a cherimola now um, I, I literally just bought this at the local corner shop um, it was one pound 40 which I suppose is current price about one dollar 80 US dollars 180 something like that 190 um, this was a lot more expensive I can't remember the price but I think this was about five or six pounds uh, these are very hard very very hard to come by this is an Egyptian grown custard apple and I know there's confusion with the names in different countries because um, uh, they're variously called sugar apple sweet sop custard apple um, atimoya but there is quite a notable difference as you can see between this smooth skin one and you, if you've watched my plant videos um, cherimoyas are the ones that I've grown from seed that I've got that are seven or eight feet tall and they were grown from seed to this fruit but I thought we'd have a look inside this one um, it's starting to split at the bottom uh, the colour would tend to suggest that it's ripe but there's not much give on the fruit. Um, unfortunately, because these are imported from uh, Egypt and they've probably been in the country for some time and probably been chilled, I'm going to guess it probably won't taste very nice. But I thought we'd cut it open and have a look. Um, I'm not going to cut the cherry moir open today because I just bought this today and it's um, it's really hard. It's not ripe at all. It needs to uh, go in the fruit bowl for a few days with other fruits to soften up and possibly be edible but um, I only got it really just to compare the size and the appearance and how different they are so I thought we'd open this one up and have a look anyway just to see if I can actually cut into it or not it feels pretty hard to, to me I mean the chances of getting a good quality one in this country are probably zero but we'll have a look and see well it actually doesn't look as bad as I expected. Um, there is some softness to it. It's not that soft. I mean, it's not gone bad inside, which is the main thing, because they have a habit of going brown in the center around this central core. Um, what I might try and do is see if I can uh, see if I can rub some of the juice on here, just so we can see what the sugar content's like on it. Let's see if I can get enough juice on here to get a reading because it is quite juicy see if we can get a sugar reading on it hmm. it's not very clear see if I can get a bit more juice on it I suspect there's not quite enough juice on it here not easy to get a good coating on it it doesn't help that the lights not particularly bright in here either let's see if that's better well that's quite a surprise it's slightly blurry but that's reading 20 on the brick scale that's roughly double what my pineapple grams have been reading so let's see if we can taste it see if it's uh, edible or not it's hard it's quite hard but I wouldn't say it's um, it's not a soft creamy texture actually seeds are poisonous on these so you don't want to be eating them it's not bad at all it's not peak ripeness 
it should be a lot creamier than this and a lot softer inside but to be fair you're never going to get one at peak ripeness here because they're not picked ripe off the tree. They're picked under ripe and then shipped all the way from Egypt. They're a little bit grainy, the fruit. Seeds are very small, isn't it? I was hoping I might get a couple of seeds to, that I could grow because I haven't got any of these plants. But they look a little bit on the thin side. Anyway, I thought that would interest people who wanted to see the difference between the smooth skin cherimoya in the Anona family. I said that's um, Anona cherimola and a custard apple, which is normally Anona reticulata, but there are occasions where custard apple is given to other member name of other members of the uh, anona family as well both tropical this one's hardier than this one we'll probably try germinating the seeds if we can say some save some but i thought you'd be interested to see that so thanks for watching the video custard apple if you've never seen one please give me a thumbs up so you can um, share the video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and remember to click on the bell if you'd like to get updates on new videos as they come out. I'll see you all in the next video. Brett out for now.